Welcome to the video guys on the WordPress blog scheduler script. Once you logged in, you can go to edit profile where you can change your username and your password. You can set up here your login username and password. Just want to go back home because before you begin using the script, one thing you need to do, if you read down here, you'll see there's some guidance notes and it says to enable remote posting on a WordPress blog, you need to enable the XMLRPC posting. So what you do is you log into your blog. So I've just got a very basic blog here. It's a brand new blog I've set up just for this purpose to show you on this video. You go to the settings tab inside your WordPress blog. From the settings tab, you want to go to the writing and choose the writing option. And then if you scroll down, you'll see here that you have the option of XML-RPC, enable the WordPress publishing protocol. You check this box for remote publishing and then you hit save changes and it will now allow that type of publishing to your actual blog. The next thing you're going to want to do is actually go to wherever you set up and installed your WordPress blog. So find it on your server. So I've got mine in a folder called WP Demo. You'll see there's a file called xmlrpc.php. You need the full path that's to be www or http colon forward slash forward slash www.yourdomainname.com forward slash if it's in a subfolder forward slash xmlrpc because you need to put that into your actual blog, blog scheduler script and I'll show you now if you go into settings you'll see your 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 WordPress blogs XML RPC URL file so you need to put a link to the actual file in here so in my case it's a video demo online .com WP demo forward slash XML RPC dot PHP you need to put that URL in here with your domain name the folder if it's in a folder of your blog and then that PHP file. You can also while you're here edit the name of the site, admin's name and email, obviously you want to change that. You can edit the language and CSS files if you like to but I recommend on install you leave these as they are. The username and password, so wherever you've installed your blog to, the admin username and password for that blog, you need to paste those into here as well. And then the frequency of your posting, you can choose whether the post will go daily or weekly from the WordPress blog scheduler. You choose the option here. I'm going to put daily. And then you would go ahead and if you want to make the changes to the footer to have an affiliate link or something, you can put that in here as well. And then you want to just go ahead and update, save your settings. And if you want any prompting and help, you can see down the side column here, you've got prompting on information as well for the script telling you that you need to make sure that the URL, admin and username of the blog is also put in and filled in before you continue. Then you can start setting up posts. You can either import posts that have been pre-written. So you go to import posts. And all you want to do in this case here is have articles ready as a zip file. So I've got some basic text articles here and I've got the zip file here. And then I can just browse to my desktop. I'm going to go to my articles. So here's one here. Let's add one here and hit open. And then we upload. And the script is going to import successfully for us. Let's browse and get another one. And then finally, we'll get a third post. And these are just zipped text files that I'm using here. If we then go to posts you'll see that it's uploaded the actual post for us. It's taken the name of the zip file and that's going to be our blog title. So whatever you've named the zip file, I recommend you just name it the name of the article. Then it will use that in the blog post title. And then it's going to schedule because I've asked this to do this daily. It's going to start posting these to my blog for me. And if I wanted to just actually manually add a post to go in the queue, I could. I could click add new here and this will then allow me to add a new post for my blog. I put in the title, post the contents here, put in any keywords. Now, if I actually take some content, so if I take one of these titles here, let's just take some content here. And let's paste it in and let's. And then if we hit generate, it's going to go through the actual article and pull out what it thinks will be used for keywords. And you can go editing these if you want to. 
and choose which ones you think should be used as your keywords. You can then choose the category it's going to post to, so whatever category you've set, if you leave it as blank, it will set it to the default category of your blog for you, and then you can just go ahead and save. Okay, so we've set up in the settings option, we chose to make the frequency daily. What we now need to do is actually set a cron job so that the cron job then connects with the script and then will post on the frequency that you've set inside the blog scheduler. So we wanted it to do daily, so we want to set our cron jobs to run at least daily because then it will be checking with the blog. You could do it every 12 hours, every 6 hours, it's entirely up to you. Now there's a couple of ways you can do a cron job. You can either take this URL here, and in some cases this will work with your cron settings, and hit copy, go into cPanel. Then you're looking for cron jobs, which you can see here. And then you can go ahead and create a new cron job. So here you can see common settings, so we could make it once an hour, twice a day. So we could say twice a day or once a day. Let's just put once a day for the moment, and the command, you just paste in the actual link that you got from the get code script, and that will then work. In other cases, you'll need to do something a little different, and I'm going to show you that now. You need to do this here, which is forward slash USR, forward slash bin, forward slash PHP. You then have a space here forward slash home, forward slash, and this here will be the username of your account. So when you set up your database, if you watch the install video, you'll see there was a username underscore and then the name of your database. If you use that same username without the underscore, just put the username in here, public underscore HTML, forward slash, if you've got it installed in a subfolder, put the subfolder in here. And again, I've got it in two subfolders. Or if you don't have it and you've got it on the root directory, you would just delete this part out here like so. Let's say you've called your scheduler, you've called it schedule. If you put it in that folder, you'd put the folder in there. So it depends on what your folder name is, is what you'll have after the public underscore HTML. And then you just want to call the PHP file, which is scheduler.php. You would then copy this whole line as it is. And you just paste it into this box here as the command. So rather than using the HTTP, you'd paste it in like so. And it's checked the box to say it's ready. Add the cron job. And then when your script is ready, it will connect with the cron settings and check to see if there's any posts to be sent. In our case, we've done some demo posts. So if we go back to our demo blog, you'll see here that it's posted the posts automatically for us over a period of days. It's added the new posts, one on the 15th and one on the 16th. So it's gone through doing the posts as we requested, and that's how you use the Turbo WP blog scheduler to get posting onto your blogs via the automated script. Thanks for watching.